Greetings. Rob McRae here, erstwhile known as Clan McRae 9. And in this video, we're going to be taking another look at the 2.6 version of the Imperium Romanum 2 Vassal Module. And specifically in this video, we're going to be looking at the random events table. So we'll just go up to our charts and tables, and we're going to select the random events table. And all these tables, I put some simple instructions here to kind of help you out because the uh, process is not necessarily intuitive without some set of instructions. So we'll just kind of go through them. So ensure the period display number text on the right side of the main map is set correctly. So at the beginning of the scenario, you would have all of these configurations on the map that you need to set. Some of them are just informational, but some of them interact with the automation that's set into the Vassal module. So I would recommend going ahead and setting all of them. Uh, the scenario, for instance, is just informational. So we could say it's Marius versus Sola, and that's going to be period one. But uh, let's say, let's check a different scenario out. That would be uh, period two. I believe the year of the four emperors, I believe it's going to be period two. If not, it'll work for the demonstration. So like all of the number counters on here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see. I know because of the scale of this map, it when you look at the whole map in its entirety, it makes the text really, really small. But throughout the game map, you're going to see these little mouse pictures here. Uh, computer mice, that is. And that just indicates a number counter that can be used by the player. So you'll see it here and here and here. Uh, up at the top, you're going to see some more mice symbols. And that just indicates to you where you can adjust the counters. So I'm going to left click here on period display and change that to a 2. Now notice that it activated the table over here. Doesn't mean that that's our final result. That's just uh, pre putting in the uh, modification to the die roll before you roll the die. Uh, you can also right click on any of the counters and use your traditional up, down, left, right as necessary. Most of my counter controls are either up, down, left, or right. Uh, occasionally there is some variations to that, but you can always right click and see what the controls are. And usually, if it's something simple like this where you're just going up and down a few numbers, it's fine to use the left and right, but some of the counters you may be going from 25 to 75, and you wouldn't want to mouse click 50 times to get there. So it's quicker, quicker and easier to just left click and then use the up or down button. So let's go back to leaving that at period two and move on to step two. So step two, ensure the use phase counter for X as a variable, major powers is set correctly in the upper main map. So the upper main map I'm talking about here. So use phase counter for two major powers is how it's already filled out. So you use phase counter for X major powers is the same label as this. And you can right click on that anywhere and you can increase that. Let's say we're going to make this for four major powers. So now we've set up our modifications and fortunately for the random events table, once you set up the modifications at the beginning of the scenario, it's not going to change throughout the rest of the game. So uh, it's really good uh, set up the way that the modifications are pre-put in and all you have to do for the rest of the game is just roll the dice. So in for this table you have to roll two different dice. You have to roll a die one that will give you your rows and a die two that will give you your column shifts. So for die roll one we're going to roll the dark blue 
And for die roll two, we're going to roll the light blue. And of course, that's going to cross reference to the letter A. Now, what does A mean? Well, what I've built in here is you can go ahead and right click on the result. It'll give you the definition of what the A random event is. So in this case, it's going to be military intelligence. The player may examine any one stack of units on the board or any one leader's command box. And to clear it, you just click it again, and there you go. So you can see by re-rolling the dice, you're going to get you know, random results. So I'm really happy with how that particular table turned out. It was a little tricky trying to figure out how to make the results actually pop up and be meaningful. Uh, the dashes, of course, mean no event. So that's the random events table, and I hope you enjoy that. And until next time, Slam McCray out.